I love dating questions. They're the most fun. Lynn, thank you for the for the call. How can I help you? Hi, Dr. Cloud. Um, my question is, um, as a Christian, how am how do I how am I led, you know, by God, um, in to that right person for me, um, but not being practical, yes, but not like putting my hand and like, you know, ruining God's plan for my life because I've been, I've heard both sides, you know, like, um, what are the two sides that you've heard? I've heard, I mean, I, I've been um, around the block be- in this thing so many times that I don't, I, uh-huh. it looks more like a Rubik's cube to me. It's more than two sides. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many well, opinions me, about this one. <laughs> for me, it's been like, you know, wait, um, and it, it, it gives me fear, like, to step out and be practical because I'm like, okay, how about if I do something that's not God's will and, and end up with someone that's totally not God's will for me? But at the same time... Well, wait, 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 um, well, hold on a Go ahead. I'm sorry. I cut you off. Go, go ahead. That's okay. And at the same time, um, I've heard, you know, teachings and regarding, like, um, you know, you have to step out in faith as well. And for me, honestly, I've been praying and, and believing, but I feel like, okay, I've been doing that for a long time and I know God answers prayer, but what am I, how, how do I have that balance that I'm not like tampering, you know, with God's plan well, for how, my life? Let, let me ask you a question. <laughs> how would you like tamper- putting my hand in it? Well, how would that, you how would you do that and have it end up in a bad way? Um would be an example. Uh, of Tell me what that looks like. For me, intentionally would be like um an unbeliever, you know, but that's not what I want to do and that's not what I what I've been doing. To okay, me it's so like just maybe stop. Just choosing stop. the wrong person. Stop, 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 mm-hmm. stop, 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 stop. Okay. I want I want you to think about this. Mm-hmm. Okay, so you you're a person of faith. Yeah. You want you want to be with somebody that's headed in the same direction as you, shares your faith. You share this yeah. intimate part of life together, just like other things. And that's yeah. what you want. That's what you want. Mm-hmm. And so if somebody shows up and that part's not there, then you're you're not gonna do that. Right. right? And it, and so, I have, and then I haven't. Right. So I, I, wait a um, but hang on, hang on, hang on. Mm-hmm. But you know, you know that in terms of getting to what you want, right? And mm-hmm. we know what God wants for you because He wants the best for you, and that would be the best to be aligned here. That you know you're mm-hmm. not going to do that. So how does that turn into some theological quandary? It's sort of like, how do I know if I cross the street? How do I know how I mess up God's will by, you know, I don't want to mess up God's will. What does that look like? Well, I'm going to walk out in the street when the light's green instead of red. Well, that how, mm-hmm. that's not a theological question at all, right? So people turn this into some kind of, like they've got you worried that, it, okay, said another way. Let's say we're going to go mm-hmm. all the way to the side of, well, God's going to lead me. All right. So mm-hmm. I'm going about life and I'm going out there and I'm dating. And all of a sudden this person shows up and they're a perfect match. Well, if I'm from the God's going to lead me side, I go, oh, there's the one God leading to me. And I make the decision and I get married and live happily ever after. If I'm mm-hmm. on the other side, well, I got to go work at this. Well, what do I do? I go out in life and I date people and this and the other. And I meet the person, and if they're bright and wonderful and everything lines up, then I make this decision. How does this turn into a theological debate? That's what I, basically, that's what I've learned, you know. Well, that's what I'm saying. And and I believe, you know, I'm like, okay, I just don't want to choose against your will, you know. Well, Even though God yes, has, of course, you don't right. want to walk out in traffic if the you don't want to cross the street if the light's red, mm-hmm. or unless it's red, whichever corner you're on. So, are you? So thinking, how do, are you, how is that practical I mean, for me? Because for me, it's always what? 
to me, it's like, it's always red. Like I, I'm like, okay, I'm not going to step out, you know? So I feel like I'm, whoa, 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 me. Stop, 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 stop. Where in the Bible does Mm -hmm. it tell you to not step out and be responsible and a steward over every part of your life and to work hard at something and be diligent and apply yourself and become the best you can be. Where does it ever say that anywhere? It doesn't, but to me, it's like, I'm not stop. trusting God. Like I'm leaning stop, stop, on my stop, own. Stop, 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 mm-hmm. stop. It doesn't. There is no but. It doesn't say that. Now, when you say, but I'm not trusting God, I can understand that if mm-hmm. if you were going to choose to make a destructive and a self-destructive and a not God-honoring decision, mm-hmm. then, of course, that's not trusting him. Mm-hmm. But to take responsibility for your life and be active, how did you get a job? Did you lock yourself up in a closet and wait for, trust God to have him have some boss come dig you out of a hole and find you and say, Oh, Mm -hmm. I found you. God led me to you. Here's your job. How'd you find your church? How'd you find your friends? How do you find your food? Prayer was a component, but not only prayer. I had to step out and visit and apply and interview. Exactly. exactly. So (laughs) why in the world do people teach this spiritual thing that in this one area of life that the whole created order is going to be different? And it's certainly not what you mm-hmm. see in the Bible. In the Bible, they had, they had spouse-seeking agents that they sent out. <laughs> they were hired hands to go over and, across and find the wife and find the... And, and then in others, they'd go to war. And, they would, and then in other mm-hmm. times, they would... God specifically says, and if one of them is attractive to you and you choose to marry that one, then he tells them kind of what to do. We got to stop living in people's la-la land of these hyper-spiritual sounding messages that the Bible never says. I want you to be a healthy person living according to God's ways and living mm-hmm. your life and going and finding your dreams, but doing them within the boundaries that he says will keep you safe. How about that? Yeah. Does that sound like yeah. more fun anyway? It does. And <laughs> definitely. And then I guess that my next question, well, my next question is um, where, where is a good place to find? Cause I have, I I grew up in church, you know, and I always think I'm going to meet him in church. So I have that that mentality. Stop, 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 stop. (laughs) Okay. I researched researched this for a long time. Mm -hmm. In my experience, in my research, that rarely happens. And it is what people are taught. Mm -hmm. And And that's not where they find significant dating. And it's not where they normally find spouses. And it's funny that that's what they get told. But yeah, it's just usually not where it happens. So I would, I mean, <laughs> good luck. When I, mean, I was I younger, it, it, um, it, it, it you, would but, happen like that. But I think, at, you know, as you get older, that get that circle can get smaller and smaller. So it's like. Well, not only that, it didn't work for you when it, when when you when you were younger either. Is my point. No, I mean, and I've like, met like I've met like you know not so good guys in the church. So, you know, well, the church is a population of uh, idiots right. and wonderful people. You know, in in the uh-huh. Bible again. Let's go back to the Bible. Let's always go back to the Bible. For you to talk about with spiritual uh-huh. questions, Jesus was asked one day, "Why do you have all of these idiots?" still around with all the good people. Why don't you just 
pluck them up and throw them into the ocean and get rid of them and save us from all these bad people. And he mm -hmm. said, basically, as a love answer, he said, because basically he's still looking for everybody to come. And in the meantime, the good ones are going to be all mixed up with the bad ones. And you're just going to have to be wise in figuring that out. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. so that's the what that's, the, that's what the book says. So you're going to find people that disappoint you in church. You're going to find people that, that may be abusive in church. You're going to find out, and you're going right. to find some really, 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 really good people there too. But in my experience, if you want to find, if you want to have a, a, a vibrant, active dating life and, and maybe even find a spouse, you're probably not going, it's not going to happen if you limit yourself to church. Mm -hmm. Would you want to limit how you find a job? what college you want to go to, how you're going to do your investments, what, you know, how you're going to mm -hmm. find a house. Are you going to limit that to your church? It's a big no. world out there. It's a big world out there. I know. So that's, there you go. I wrote a whole book on oh. this. I have your book and I started reading it and mm -hmm. I have the audible book too. Well, starting it is not finishing it. So, mm -hmm. I want, you, I want you to finish it and then you'll know what I think and you can you can try it and see if it see if it applies to you but I want you to have a I want you to have a full life Lynn and and one of my favorite mm -hmm. verses what does it say work out your own salvation with fear and trembling for it is God who is at work within you to will and to do of your good pleasure of his good pleasure it's in Philippians so yeah. what did that say yeah. you work it out you go out there and start dating and start looking and start posting and all this for mm -hmm. it is God who is at work within you. He's guiding us, leading us. He's empowering us. He's opening doors. He's closing doors. He's training us. He's coaching us. He's, he's altering our vision as we, he's growing us. He's our constant companion while we're out there doing it and living life because he's working it out for us while we do it. It is a both and, it is not an either or. Okay. okay. I got it right. Thank I you hope so that's much. helpful to you. And um, I think that your question is one that uh, a lot of people have been, in my opinion, and I'd say um, opinion with a capital O, I cared about this question so much because I, I actually wrote a book on it because I saw so many people just stuck. And I've seen so many people get unstuck.